Well, welcome back. <coughs> I've got kind of a, an interesting uh, day planned for us today. We are gonna be visiting Cornfield Crappie Gear and uh, they're gonna put some new, new equipment on the boat. But before we do that, before we go visit Mark, you know me, I gotta get some fishing in. Marcus is gonna come over here real quick. We're gonna put some slabs in the boat and then we're gonna take a road trip to Cornfield Crappie Gear down there in Kentucky. And we're gonna put on a new telescope mount that bends down apparently. And uh, he says he has something special in, in store for me. So I'm kind of excited about that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a good time today. We got a full day. We're fishing, it's winter. This is a this is a really cold day. Roughly around roughly around 35. Windy. Yeet. Make sure you stay to the end. Mark from Cornfield Crappie Gear is doing a giveaway. Really exciting stuff. And I'll tell you, we have a ball at Cornfield Crappie Gear. Of course, after we put the big fish in the boat. Marcus always says, I saved the, the best days for him. <laughs> so let's get the boat in the water. That's right, folks. We're going to be heading to Cornfield Crappie Gear after we put some big fish in the boat. So stick with me. If you like this type of stuff, subscribe. Here we go. Yeah, it's going to be one of those days. Long day, good day, fun day. You going to see all those new products from Mark. And whew, I got some rigging to do here. I got to get these bad boys ready for the day. So let's see. I'll put you guys. Looks like it's time for another loop knot. <laughs> For those that haven't seen a loop knot, I've showed it on several videos. Reno makes fun of me. He goes, how many times you gotta show the loop knot? Well, not everybody watches every video. You know, that's one of the deals. So do me a favor, uh, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, if you like this type of content, we're gonna put some big fish on the boat. Gonna go see Cornfield Crappie Gear. It's interesting that only 20% of the viewers are actually subscribers. It's free, folks. Absolutely free, no problem. Let me show you that loop knot. And I'll show you one of my favorite baits right now. All right, so I'm using a 32nd ounce jig head from Jinko Fishing. This is what I'm gonna be loading up these reels with, these rods with. And basically, you put it through the eyelet, swing it around like that about four or five times, and then right back through that hole that you held, bring it through, and then we basically are going to tie that nice and tight. Cut off the excess. Right there. And that, my friends, is a perfect loop knot. That's about a half inch. I like to be even less if I can make it even less than that, but that's pretty good. Now, what the bait I've been using a lot of lately, and people have been asking, what have you been using? What have you been using? That's Smokehouse, that small baby shad from um, Jinko Fishing is freaking awesome. Just like, really looks good. And I, Right now I'm starting with a pink head, but that pink head could switch. But that, that's been hot. I think it's the smaller profile and certainly the, the glitter and the shimmer of it looks like a minnow. So it's really nice. Check them out. Let's, hit, let's put some fish in the boat. Marker should be here any time now. Marcus is celebrating his new job, and I'm celebrating a birthday. We both need some leave. That's what I needed. <laughs> That's your first dish of the day. <laughs> Woo! That is I love my fish. That is a hammer. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. It's 
Oh, fish! Coming at you. <laughs> Getting cold. I'm trying to put the jacket on. Look at Marcus. Throw it in the hammer. Another good fish, Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> Chasing some schools before I head to cornfield crappie gear. They're crappie. <laughs> All right, so that was a lot of fun. Marcus had to leave. I put on a jersey, and we are now headed to Cornerfield Crappie Gear to pick up this new mount. So that is the that is the plan right now. And uh, yeah, let's go see what Mark's got new at one of my favorite places. All right, folks, after a great morning of fishing, and man, that was fun. We are now in Kentucky at Cornfield Crappie Gear. Same day, fantastic, great time. Love coming and seeing what's new at Cornfield Crappie Gear. Check this out. That ain't your boat. Yeah. All right, for those that are new to Cornfield Crappie Gear, these guys are the kings of mounts, the live sweep, sweep system, and I'll tell you, anything custom that you could ever want for your boat, you've got to contact Mark. It's fantastic. So he's going to give us a tour of the facility. He's going to give us a great idea of what's coming in 2021. And let me tell you, the key word here is custom. Without a doubt, that is one of the big focuses of Cornfield Crappie Gear. There he is, right there. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? What's going on? <laughs> Show us what's new at Cornfield Crappie Gear, man. Uh, well, one of the cool things we got going now. We got a laser, so we're lasering our logo and stuff in the paint rather than a sticker. Here, come here, bring that over here. Sometimes you just gotta move to the other side of the shop so we don't have that much noise. So what do you got going there? So we got a laser, so we're lasering our logo instead of using stickers now. The stickers don't want to stay on the paint very well, so we just stepped it up doing that. We can put anything on it. We can put any logo you want, send me a file. We can put, you know, we got some couple riggers that's putting their logo on it along with ours. So if you have a cut, so let me just get this straight. So if they have a custom logo they want to have done, now they're going to get charged for it, obviously. Right, right. But you can have it put on a lot of your mounts or all, yeah. I mean. A lot of them, yeah. A lot we'll of them. look and see what's, what's doable on each one of them. That's awesome. Custom, baby. All right, so you're going to go through some of the new products that you've got. Okay. All right, so tell so, us tell us what you got coming up for 2021 right now. Right now we have a 2021 Bass Cat Lynx in here that belongs to one of the pros. And we're setting up where we can put a bridge that's made just for the Bass Cat, the way the Bass Cat's laid out out front. We're actually gonna end up with two Garmin 12 inch units on this and one other unit for mapping off to the side. So that's something we're working on just for this. About that. So this goes back to this goes back to doing things custom. Yeah. But we, we do that custom and then turn it into a product line for other people later on. That's awesome. Okay, that's good. So, so tell us what you've got right now that people can order and what they're they're looking at. Safety. And you know, we talked about safety here a while back. Safety, I understand there's what I've heard of about three different boat incidents that I've heard about this summer uh, from not being able to see where you're going. The units are so tall and so big and everybody knows it's a little hard to see over the front of the boat. Right. So we're working on that with a couple ideas. I had this one here before we went to the expo, but my idea failed and I had to go back to the drawing board and change a few things. So we got our telescoping mount that we've been doing for a while. So this will telescope up and down like this. We're gonna be able to mount that on the deck and with just turning this handle, Fold the whole thing down so your units are down here and you can see over the top. This one's actually a little bit taller than the, the other telescoping mount we got because we've had to add the knuckle at the bottom. So you're gonna be able to bring it up and it'll go 15 degrees forward. That's as far as it'll go. And this thing's fully extended, it's right there. Right? It's up there. But there again, you know, running down the lake, it's an awful lot of weight that high up off the floor. But the main thing is the view you can't see. We're going to get together and do a video here when it gets a little nicer out on 
how much you're missing with the units on the front. It'll, it'll amaze you. Awesome new product, awesome. Safety, awesome. So then we've been working at what we had at the Expo, our folding mount that's got the gas shock in it. We have it for one unit, so. Okay. So with that, the single mount that folds over, we've had that since day one, honey. So we got one we're gonna put on your boat today. So the three pound boat gets a new mount that folds down for safety. We're gonna run one unit. What unit are you running up front now? So right now, everybody, I'm running an 8612 Garmin unit that would be mounted on this. And there, that's the surprise. Now I see the surprise. There he is, he's got the logo. Put it on two sides so you can. <laughs> that's awesome. And we're also engraving Made in USA cornfield crappie gear on all of our products because we're proud to be made in the USA. That is awesome. So this guy folds down. Yeah, this uh, one won't because it's gotta be bolted down to fold down because the cylinder's that strong on it. Oh, you can't, wow. You cannot fold it down okay. without the unit on here and the leverage of pulling it down. Okay. And then when you pull it down, we got a pin. It's not, we're gonna put a pin in here. It's gonna pin into that hole. So when it gets all the way down, it'll be pinned and that way it can't pop up. Gotcha. And when you raise it up, you wanna have good hang on to it and raise it up because it, it goes up pretty good. Every time I walk into Cornfield Crappie Gear, I'm blown away by the amount of inventory and the quality of products they have. The detail, the etching, everything that goes into these products, top notch. We got more bridge options now. So we've had a request to have to put two units on side by side. So we got this same bridge, same height, same opening, but we spread the top apart so you can put two 12 inch units side by side. Well, then we decided to go ahead and make it, uh, put the degrees on it. We got 22 degrees on it. That kind of helps tilt them up, just gives you a little bit more option. So we got this option. We put the three holes in it here. We add this plate. You can put a third unit here, one here, one here. It kind of keeps them centered and lower on the deck. That's what, so we had some guys looking for something like that. So we basically just took what we had and, and modified it to do this. That's so why I try to keep building on what we got and the, the days of having an erector set. You know. <laughs> Where are you going to put those <laughs> With the foot pedal and everything else? Well, the foot pedal is going to go in the middle of it, and the two pedals is going to, uh, the two units will go up here. It's just like some of the bass guys are running oh, low. Yeah, yeah. It's just going to keep it low for the guys that want to load. But then if you need to run a third one, you know, the crappie guys have been all over the electronics <laughs> for a few years now. Now the bass guys are. They're up, updating a lot of their stuff with, with the live scope and what have you. So is that a Camus over there? Do you have something you're yeah. doing on that one yeah. as well? let's go over here. I'll show you what we're doing on this one. This is another uh, boat for one of the pros down in Tennessee that he brought it in and he had bought this boat used. It's like two years old. It was set up for bass fishing, set up really well the way they had it all set up and but he needs the live scope up like everybody else so what we're going to do here is we're going to build a new new plate to go in here and then we're on that plate we're going to build a bridge i got the bridge parts laying here basically we're going to take this from this angle here and set it up so the bridge is le uh, level like that so i got to build all that custom build that we're going to build the plate that the bridge is going to bolt to and the way it was before with run he's running two garmin units plus a mapping unit it was really difficult with all the wires. So we're gonna fix that with one of our wire pucks or maybe. All right, so one of the things that Mark talked about to me in Branson was his, his products, their ability to adjust to the times to how maybe you're gonna change your technique out there on the water. So maybe you wanna add a graph, maybe you wanna turn that, that single uh, mount to a double mount. So his stuff definitely has the ability to do that with low cost. So go through so, and show my example. So this is your basic single deck mount, big base deck mount, telescope mount. Goes up and down so you can get what you want and all that. That's what I have, right? Right, that's what's on your boat. So say a guy's got live scope, he needs this, gets it up so he can see better and all that. So now he's decided he wants to add mapping or a, or a second unit or something. Instead of buying another one and putting over here or getting rid of this and buying a double mount, we made a kit so you can just take this off of here, take this bolt out, Take the plate off, the bolt out, set those aside. Then this is our, our double plate, which is the same as on one of these double mounts, same, same stuff. This comes over here, you can bolt this on now.
Then you got the same plate, their gimbal plate, will bolt on here, one will bolt here, the other one will go here. You can loosen the knuckle. Ah. Tilt it down to what you need. That's the tilt that we usually use for. And there's your double mount. Model. There's put, your double mount. Put this here and double mount. Okay, so, so we're gonna sell this. I'm not sure, 65, 70 bucks, something like that. For you got to have this plate, two of these, those bolts, those bolts, and this bolt all comes together in the kit. So you can take your single, switch it to a double, and away you go. Instead of buying that, that's way. awesome, man. That really is awesome. And we're working on putting a kit together for these too, but with these, a single mount only comes with one arm. So we're gonna to have to have a kit that's two arms and the plates and all that, but we're gonna work on putting that together after the first year. So if a guy's got one of our normal double or single mounts, we can convert it to a double also. Awesome. That's sweet. I got a plan. Here's what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. If you like and share the three pound fishing video, the visit at Cornfield Crop Gear, I'm gonna see, all, well, I'll check out all the likes and shares and one, somebody's gonna win the sticker, the koozie, the beer mug, and a lanyard. Awesome. We'll put it all in there. One lucky person is gonna like and share this video and we'll see it, we'll check it all out. We'll pick somebody random and pack it up and send it to them, I'll call them get all of them, get their information, and send it to them. That's awesome. So share the video on YouTube right now, and you'll be entered to win that. We'll do it in, say, let's give it seven days. Yeah. Seven That's days. Good. All right, so let's put that mount on my boat. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. All right, it's time to get out in the cold. My buddy Nate is gonna put the uh, the new folding mount on the boat. We're gonna talk about other products. They actually replace both of my other mounts as well. Man, they make short work of it, and it's a lot of fun to watch experts go at it, go at it on your boat. Take the time and energy to do it. It's yeah. like, that's beautiful. Hold on right on there, man. That was beautiful. Yep. I like the made in the USA. Yeah, well, we started doing all that because we just wanna make sure that they're getting our mount. You know, if somebody borrows our mount from somebody else, we want to make sure that it's our mount. You know what I mean? Yep. It's not some, how do I, how do I put this light? Copied in China. Ha yeah, copied <laughs> in China or hacked out in a garage. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. All right, so we just got the folding mount installed. That was really quick, really easy. So if you have an existing bridge mount, it makes it really easy yep. to pretty much put any yep. of your, yep. your, your all the all the bases are the same, the same bolt pattern and the bridge mounts, all that's all the same thing. So we were fortunate we had Nate here. He installed it within about within about 30 seconds. About 30 seconds. Yeah, that's that's super nice. So if you want to upgrade from just a regular pedestal or regular mount, getting the folding mount yep. is easy. Now you can see <laughs> that's easy. Now you can get that up. Those are 16 inch arms, so that's the longest arms that we make. That gets it way up. Plus being on the bridge is another five, and then we made your little deal so you could push it forward. That right. just that's a special for you to go forward. But now you can flip that up and have it up in your face where you can see it. But yet when you get ready to go down the lake for safety reasons, you got it folded down. You can see over the deck. And, and putting your boat cover on. Yeah, boat cover. That's a big deal too. Yeah. 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 So a lot of people talked about the boat cover not being able to put yeah, on. But right. you can now, folks. Folding mount. Check it out. Hey, so like always, incredible time at Cornfield Property Gear. Man, you got some great products. See this dog right here, folks. Roof. That's it. Awesome dog. So, if you're interested in mounts, live sweep, anything live scope, man, you got it going on. Yeah, we got a full range of mounts to mount up the live sweep on the trolling mower, mount on the live sweep, mounts to put your units on, different styles of mounts to put in. Now you can add on to the mount you've already got by changing it from a single to a yeah. double. It's nonstop. We're working on some more stuff too. So how do they get a hold of you? What's the easiest way for you? The uh, best thing to do is, well, keep follow us on Facebook. Right. Follow yours. Right. Because you're all we're always doing cool new stuff on your boat. So Facebook. Cornfieldcropagear.com. That's the website. You can we got all of our we're putting videos on there on how to install and all that stuff. And then if you got any questions that's not on there, call me. 
217-304-1680. Check out Cornfield Crappy Gear. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate okay. it, brother. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.